Final Fantasy XIV is a really funny game if you think about it. In this MMO, you have the regular classes like Black Mages, Dragoons, and Warriors. And just like the other normal fantasy games, they use axes, staffs, and lances to fight their enemies. But out of completely nowhere, this random dude will run up to the party and say, Hey everybody, I just taped the sword to my gun and now I'm your new tank. And all the party members just looked at each other and said, Sure, why not? So this gunblade using class is called Gunbreaker. And for today's video, I'm gonna play this class in the dumbest way possible. Possible. For those who are watching that are new to this channel, hey, I'm Lewis. I'm trying to become a real life warrior of light. And to do that, I have to learn how to play every job in the game in real life. Sometimes that means building a giant sword controller to play Dark Knight. And I accidentally made my downstairs neighbors really mad at me when I tried to grab aggro in the game. Other times that means I have to make a book controller to play Scholar with. I had to literally scribble into a book to cast spells in game and that was so much fun to do. So in order to learn Gunbreaker, we need a controller that is both a sword and a gun at the same time. With the sword half, we can use motion controls to track the hacking and slashing and turn those into inputs. And when the sword combos are done, we build enough resources in game to use the gun abilities. I want to make a prop that allows me to shoot a target to activate abilities like Burst Strike. So with the three IQ points I had left, I came up with an idea. As cool as it would be to use an actual gun for this build, I personally think if I typed in how to make a gun into Google, I would be put on a list so fast, you probably never see a video from me again. So I decided to just buy a nerf gun from the store. I also picked up a 3D print file of one of the weapons the Gunbreaker uses. That way I can combine the two to make the world's first functional gunblade. And by functional, I mean I can actually play Final Fantasy XIV's Gunbreaker class with this nerf gunblade. But before I spoil the entire video, let's first try to build a controller for the Gunbreaker class. Building the nerf gunblade was surprisingly really easy to do. The first thing that I found out was that the crown's blade weapon from Final Fantasy XIV was pretty much a gun with a sword attached to it. All I had to do on my end is modify the 3D model of the weapon and make it fit around the nerf gun. Thanks to the Dangerous Ladies, I was able to get a really good 3D print model of the Crown's Blade weapon. By using that model with Blender, I was able to scale it down to fit around the Nerf gun. Once the model was properly scaled down, I hit up my 3D printer to print out the parts. And after a montage of printing, sanding, and smelling paint fumes, the Nerf gun blade was ready to go. I don't make costly props very often, but I was really happy on how the build turned out. Although this controller is way smaller than the actual Crown's Blade weapon itself, my last build was a Dragoon Lance and it was so big I literally could not make a video about it. Like it was so big I could not use this in my tiny apartment without making holes in the ceiling. So having a small controller every once in a while is kind of nice. Up next, we need to install some hardware to turn this prop into a controller. For this build, I'll be using an Arduino Nano. This little guy is amazing because it has an accelerometer and a gyroscope built into it. We can track the Nerf Gunblade's motion through the X, Y, and Z axis. Because honestly, at the end of the day, what is a slash but not a sword moving really fast across someone's Z axis? With the data we get from the Arduino, we can pinpoint exactly when I'm trying to do my rotation. Do you see these spikes? These spikes are usually at the apex of my swings. Once the spike is confirmed, we can program the Arduino to activate the corresponding ability. So long story short, if you want to do a rotation, you have to swing your gunblade around. Honestly, the best way to describe this build is that it's a very cheap Wemo. However, when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV, here's what a basic rotation looks like. It doesn't matter how you swing the gunblade, as the Arduino will track the ability in the rotation you're on. So with the sword abilities done, it was time to use the nerf darts to start working on the gun abilities. At the beginning of this project, I tried to use a couple of force sensors to try to track when the nerf dart hit it. However, these dudes were really small, so it was really hard to hit them consistently. To fix this issue, I decided to switch over to vibration sensors. These bad boys will activate whenever the object it is attached to vibrates. And as getting hit by a nerf dart causes vibrations, this was a very solid solution. Also, as a 31 year old, my aiming skills have gotten really bad. For example, recently I wanted to check out what Call of Duty games played like nowadays and I saw some clips and I was like, nah dog, I'm good. I'm actually too old for this game, how do people even play like this? But hey, at least my aim isn't bad enough to miss something as big as a shipping box. By attaching the sensors to the box, all I I have to do is shoot anywhere in the box to activate the ability. The LED in the box will light up whenever it confirms that I have indeed shot the box with a nerf dart. So I ended up building four of these boxes, one for each ability I deem needed for simple gameplay. Also in order for me to switch from single target to AOE rotations, I need to shoot this box specifically.
perfectly. Once this box is hit, it makes my motion controls activate the AoE rotation instead. Let's just hope I don't run out of nerf darts in the middle of my dungeon run because that would be really bad for my party. I can imagine my party members running for their lives as either tank is on the ground, frantically looking for all of my nerf darts that are spread across the entire dungeon floor. But with the gun code finished, it was finally time to combine the two systems and try to fight a training dummy. I was actually really nervous about this as I haven't done a test like this before. However, there's only one way to find out if this system works and well, here goes nothing. Let me just do a quick rotation, some guns, stuff, and I should be fine for the trial. <laughs> If you're not bad like me, you won't miss. <laughs> hey, pretty good. Hey, it works. Or at least it works well enough to bring it to duty roulette. However, now I can see you asking, Hey Lewis, uh, what about all of the other abilities you didn't map onto your controller? For example, what about your tank roll actions and stuff like that? And for those questions, here are my answers. Shut up, nerd, or I'll stuff you in a locker and take your lunch money. But honestly, that's a really good question for future Lewis. Current day Lewis is trying to see if this will at least function at all for people who just run dailies. There are just some abilities that won't fit onto the gun or just don't make any sense to use it with. Well, technically, you can use the ability Super Blind, which is an ability that reduces your HP to 1 so you can take on big damage if that makes any sense. And the meme around this is that the Gunbreaker literally shoots themselves to activate it. That means if I wanted to activate that ability in game, I would have to turn the nerf gunblade to myself and then shoot myself in the face to activate Super Bowl Light in game, which would hurt a ton to do. Huh. Well, I got it to work. and <laughs> This is what it looks like. Hey everyone, uh, Lewis here. I am testing the prototype to Super Bullide. It's probably the worst thing I've done today, if not the worst thing I've done this year. But, uh, here goes nothing. Damn. Really have to do this to myself, huh? Okay, nope, not the eye. Right there, on the hat. Three, two, one. Persona! Ah! <laughs> that could have gone pretty bad but at least it works. <laughs> However, doing this meme on YouTube will probably get me in trouble, so for now, we'll just keep it between you and me. Until then, let's see if this controller can even survive a couple of dailies. The first thing I need to do is practice my controller in a duty support run, because at least in there, my NPC partners can't be disappointed in how slow I am at reloading. And y'all, I had to reload so much in my run, it was ridiculous, but we'll talk about that later. On the bright side, at least the Nerf Gunblade controller worked just fine. Using this setup, the gameplay loop became pretty simple. First, I'll run up to a mob and do my AoE rotation. After that, if I'm feeling spicy, I'll shoot a target to activate an ability. And finally, when the fight was done, I would reach into my pouch to grab some more nerf darts. It was way easier to reload at this time as I don't think I'm smart enough to reload during battles. As for movement and targeting, I do have a sort of brass knuckle Joy-Con accessory to handle that. I don't know if this gameplay looks awkward to y'all, but at least for me the controller was easy to use. However, I did notice two major issues when it came to my Gunblade controller. First off, swinging this controller around puts some strain on your forearm after a couple of hours. Although the Gunblade is around 2 pounds, the way you grip it and swing it makes it feel way heavier. It definitely wasn't as bad as my Buster Sword controller as playing Final Fantasy VII Remake with that after an hour was a workout. But I will say I don't recommend using this Nerf Gunblade without taking a break between each daily. And the second issue, and probably the most important issue, is that if you run out of ammo, you're kind of done for. I'm out of ammo. I should be good enough for the rest of this fight. I hope. <laughs> 
If you're dumb like me and forget to buy more nerf darts, you'll be spending most of your time searching for them all over your room. I definitely spent way too much time on my stream looking around for my extra nerf darts on the floor. I started the stream with around 30 nerf darts, but I'm pretty sure I ended up with 12 by the end of it, so I have no idea where the other ones went. However, with the duty support practice done, it was finally time to take the controller into duty roulette. The only goal I had was to make sure that no one knew I was playing with this weird setup. Since Final Fantasy XIV is a relatively easy game, as long as I didn't die, I think I'll be fine. Sure, my DPS will probably be pretty low as I'll miss most of my shots, but it's level 60 content, so what could go wrong? <laughs> The first trial we got was to beat up the old man yelling at dragons, so it wasn't too bad. I lucked out really hard on this one as I wasn't chosen to be the main tank for the trial. I should main tank. What is the- the worst thing that happens is that I die. And honestly, who hasn't died in this game? So, oh darn, the tank put on their main tank stance. That's- oh shucks. Oh darn. I was so close to pressing that button anyway, you know. It is what it is. Uh now I get to focus on getting better at shooting my targets to activate my abilities more consistently. Harry, this, you filthy casual! However, I did run out of ammo mid fight and I had to learn how to weave reloading in between mechanics. I'm out of ammo! No! <laughs> no! It happened! I ran out of ammo! Hold on! We have time to reload. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't have to do anything, do I? Whoa, we gotta move? <laughs> Wait, I'm reloading! Chill! I can't see! But even after a couple of mistakes, we finally took Grandpa back to the retirement home. That means it's time for another trial, but this time I didn't have any luck as I had to be the main tank for this fight. But at least at this point, I was really confident with my Gunblade controller. For example, my nerf dart rotations were getting really solid. The one, right? But I should not be taking both, if I remember correctly. And I can't hit that one in the middle. Yo, I got the whole combo? I'm cracked. However, the downside of using these abilities is that at some point, I will forget that I'm out of ammo and things will go downhill immediately. Yo, I'm cracked. I'm out of bullets. <laughs> so now I have to juggle reloading while also positioning correctly around the boss. It was actually kind of fun to figure all of this out at the same time. Okay, I've trained for this. I can weave my rotations through my reloads. That's one. Two, I probably shouldn't stand on this. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. How do I turn this away from <laughs> Okay, we're good. Hey, no, 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 get away from me, everybody. How many tank busters do I get? Okay, one more, one more. One more pellet and I think we're back in. Whoa, brother. Okay. I need two more. This is, my, this is my last pellet. Or dart, sorry. I keep calling it the wrong thing. Sadly, my brain is actually too small to do all of this, and I couldn't pay attention to what my party was up to. So we did end up wiping once, which luckily gave me enough time to pick up all of the darts off the ground. But after dodging some hot wings and keeping my ammo count up, we eventually beat the trial. We're good. <laughs> oh, someone, I heard a little break. We're almost free. Somehow, it took us one death, but we're free. My, my DPS might be a little low, but overall, I think I did pretty okay. We could literally not do our abilities, but that's okay. We finished just in time. Who gave me a player accommodation? How could you? I don't deserve it. I'm a feeder. <laughs> So overall, I think my Nerf Gunblade controller did really good. It never broke on me during gameplay, and honestly, that's amazing in my books. If I had to put this on a tier list of my other Final Fantasy XIV controllers, this would be a solid A+. Like, this can be used in the public. Either way, this build was really fun to work on, and I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. I can't wait to show you what I'm working on next, but until then, stay safe and stay hydrated. Bye!